Amy Witchery here. Welcome back to NFL Fan Table on SugarBang.com. My co-host this week is my Saints gnome friend, but don't worry you guys, he's official. He's made in China and an NFL licensed product. Hi, a little magical guy that he is. Cheers, thanks for having me. P.S. He's totally missing some fingers, but let's not judge. But what we can judge is Big Wangs in Hollywood North, because they're a bunch of cheap bastards. Here's what went down. The Saints were in Houston, and I went to Hollywood North with my gang to watch the game. And first of all, they switched from Coke product to Pepsi, which means they're cheap and they're poor, and that's embarrassing. Guess who else serves Pepsi? That cheap bastard Jerry Jones, that southern swindling motherfucker that he is. He serves Pepsi in his stadium, so you know it's cheaper, and it's a inferior product. Now, number two, they also start charging for ranch. You're charging me to charge me a quarter for ranch on a Sunday morning? What are you, some type of redneck commie? I mean, that was outrageous, and that pissed off everybody. MPS, it's also tacky. And then, get this. You go in and you tell them what game you're going to watch, and then you sit down according to where the game is. There's a flag on every TV that shows the matchup, so I don't know. I sat in front of the Saints-Texans game, but guess what? It was two TVs down, because their shit is not organized. Get it together, Big Wangs, because it's about to get ugly. Okay, someone who did totally hook me up this week was the manager at Daphne's in North Hollywood. Now, here's the thing. I was in a desperate situation, so perhaps that came across. I don't actually know. But if you're looking for some falafel or a hug or maybe a refreshing Diet Coke product, head to Daphne's on Lancashire and tell the manager that Amy sent you. All right, on to football. The Saints beat the Texans, and it was a magical day for all Saints fans. I got to tell you, it was really fun to have Steve Gleason back there in the Dome celebrating everything. He's a huge part of Saints history, and I wish I could have been there. And P.S., what was with the gold pants? Because I don't think that they... Well, not my favorite, but a big win nonetheless. Our offense came out, our defense was off and on, and we walked away winners. Who else walked away winners? The Green Bay Packers. They beat up on the Chicago Bears, so that was a rough one. Congratulations, Dad. Really big win for him. The Raiders won. They beat up on the Jets. I had friends at that game, which is very exciting because nobody got shot or stabbed, and the Raiders had a big win. So congrats to Mark and all my other Raider, fans, Raider fan friends. Bills and Lions are also big winners. We're starting off the season 3-0. If I knew any Bills or Lions fans, I'd send them a shout-out. So if you're one, hit me up, let me know. I would love to know a Bills fan. Now, the Falcons lost to the Bucks, And here's the thing. I'm a little annoyed because I do have Matt Ryan in my shitty fantasy league. But I'm not surprised. The Falcons won a ton of games last year, and that confused them. They thought they were a great team. However, they are not. So congratulations to Josh Freeman and the Bucks for reminding the Falcons that they're not all that. Ugh. Speaking of not all that, what's up, second favorite team, Minnesota Vikings? Okay, here's the deal. For the third week in a row, they have lost and blown, like, a double-digit lead in the second half to start off the season 0-3. In the words of Kenny Genius, that's way embarrassing. And it is. Get your shit together or somebody's going to get fired again in Minnesota. Now, on to a new little segment I like to call Tight Ends I Love. Since Ethan isn't here tonight, <laughs> I want to talk about some other tight ends in the league. First up, Jermichael Finley. Now, granted, he's not on my fantasy team, and he's a Green Bay Packer, but anyone that scores three touchdowns against the Chicago Bears is someone that I love. Congratulations, Jermichael. I totally wish I would have drafted you. Ah! All right, someone I'm super glad I did draft, Jimmy Graham. Now look at this situation, you guys. He is 6'6", 260, a young blinger tight end, and he can get it done. Yeah, he had a little bit of a misfire this week, but guess who went back on the field and scored a touchdown after that? Because he's amazing and because Breeze believes in him. So Jimmy Graham is the man. Now another tight end I love, Scott Chandler of the Buffalo Bills. I know. Who? That's what I said, too. Here's the thing. He has four touchdowns in three weeks. Granted, he's not the hottest guy in the field, but he's pretty incredible. He did also play college at Iowa. I learned that information thanks to the Internet. Now, before we go, I'm going to share a little fan mail. It says, hi, darling. Please take care of this. Saw your solo fan table. Thought it was good. Am I biased in my views? No. Love, Dad. How awesome is that? Also awesome, the gifts that keep coming in. First up, I have the same... Oh, dryer's... Laundry's done. <laughs> Laundry going on at the Sugar Bank Studios tonight. That's how we keep it real, y'all. What's up? <laughs> so, I have a Saints hand pump, and I also have a Saints toothbrush. Don't worry, both of these are also NFL licensed products and made in China. These came courtesy of my BFF from high school, Melissa Hoskins. So keep, keep feeling free.
free to send in the gifts because Mama loves them. That's it for this week. We'll see you all next week. I'm Amy Wittree. Check us out at thesugarbang.com, bitches. <laughs>